Hello, welcome to what I hope is the first of several sessions exploring this thing, Gunter's Rule. Late 1700s, early 1800s, I believe. I managed to buy one yesterday. I'd been looking for one for a long, long time and had given up ever owning one. I bid on one on eBay, went up to about £160, uh, at which point I thought, how much do I really want? What is at the end of the day just a piece of wood? went for 190 I think, so they're very sought after, very rare. It's the precursor to the slide rule. If you want to know what slide rule is and you don't already know, then do have a look around on YouTube and elsewhere where other people will explain it far better than I can. I only have a basic grasp of these things. All I really understand is it's a logarithmic scale placed on top of another log logarithmic scale and that that allows you to um, add together two distances which multiplies those numbers because they are logarithmic. I understand that much and that's about it so far, which is a bit worrying because this is far more complicated than that. I'll show you in a moment. There's so many different scales and complicated things going on which I only have the vaguest idea of because there doesn't seem to be a lot of material out there to help you use one of these things, including YouTube, which is why I thought I'd start not showing you how to use them but exploring myself how to use it and then hopefully sharing that with others. And if anybody wants to help me, then that's fantastic. So, uh, let's have a look at some of the details on it. There's me looking excited because I just bought one for £10 at an antiques fair from a man who said it was very old, which it is, but didn't really know, I don't think, what it was. And I didn't know what it was when I bought it. I knew it was, it was, it was quite black, you couldn't really read much on it. But as I walked away happily with it, I noticed there were lots of these little brass plugs on it. And that tells me that it's a Gunter's scale, because that's the point at which you put your divider, or one part, one point of your divider in, to use multiplication and the other things that this amazing analogue computer basically can do, which we'll see in a while. So I polished it up with uh, beeswax, that was it, yeah, so uh, rubbing alcohol and beeswax, and it came up really quite nicely. There's still quite a lot of marks on it as you can see but nothing that stops you being able to use it and, and see the various marks on it. As you'll see here there's various scales which I don't understand. Cho is for chords I think which is something to do with um, circles and measuring angles something like that or the outsides of circumferences of circles I'm not sure. Uh, rum I've got no well, I've got the vaguest idea it's something to do with north south east and west but how that relates to a scale on a on a rule, I really don't know. We'll, we'll discover that together in time. The only one I really understand at the moment is the NUM scale here, and that, as far as I can work out, is just like one side of a slide rule. In other words, it's a logarithmic scale. I'm going to demonstrate the limit of my knowledge now, which is how to multiply two numbers together using the Gunter's rule. So my original plan was to uh, film this in my room, but there wasn't enough light, the camera kept falling over, I needed three hands at least, four really. So I uh, did it in the garden where there was more room, and more light, and hopefully it makes more sense this way. So we're going to multiply two numbers together, 8 and 42. In order to use the Gunter's rule, you need a large pair of dividers, which I don't have. So I used a folding rule and super glued a couple of pins on, and then filed the ends off the pins so they weren't st uh, sticking into the wood too much. So your first job is to locate the left pin into the pl uh, brass plug, which is on the left side. You can see that there on the number one. Once you've located that, you stretch out your dividers to one of the numbers that you're going to multiply. So we'll do that out to number 42. So you can see there, stretch the dividers out and pick out 42 with the right pin. Now you have your distance 42 measured out. So you carefully lift your dividers and take the left pin and place it in the other number that you're going to multiply. So in this case it's the 8. 
I know that looks like the the, the um, right side pin, but it's not. It's the left side. I've just bent it out of the way so you can see what's going on there. So we've picked out the 8. Now we roll the dividers over using the distance that we'd previously done the 42 and we bring it down onto the Gunter's Rule. So we've now taken 42 and added that to 8, except we're not adding it. We're multiplying it because they're log scales. So there we can read off the answer now, which is 335. I was very pleased by that till I realised that, of course, 8 times 42 is 336, so it's not quite right. Um, having done some more experimentation since, sometimes it's very accurate and sometimes it's, it's off a bit. And I don't think it's the way I'm using it. I think it is a limitation of the rule itself, but we'll, we'll discover that as we, as we go along. That's it. Thank you very much for sticking with me there. And in the next video, we'll explore some of the other scales. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again.